Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, using conjugate thirds in this session. Uh, it, it would help you if you watch the previous videos with thirds. Um, the whole process of using this is to get rid of um, thirds in the denominator, uh, particularly with this one is when you have a mixture of numbers and thirds. I guess it'd be a lot easier if we have a look at a couple of examples. All right, let's say we got a third in the denominator that has a form of a plus square root of b. Then the conjugate third of that would simply be a minus square root of b. Another example is if we have a minus square root of b as a third, then the conjugate third would be a plus square root of b. Looking at this in terms of numbers, if we have 6 plus square root of 3, then the conjugate third would be 6 minus square root of 3. However, if we have it as square root of 4 minus 2, then the conjugate third would actually be negative square root of 4 minus 2. So remember, it's always the square root symbols symbol that, you, that you're going to be changing. All right? Because if you have a look at this, square root of 4 minus 2, we could actually rewrite this as negative 2 plus square root of 4. Therefore, the conjugate base that the conjugate third of this would be negative 2 minus square root of 4. Okay, let's um, go through some examples uh, just to get the idea a bit more. Alright, let's say we want to simplify this expression right here. 4 divided by 2 plus square root of 3. The whole idea of this is we do not want a square root symbol in the denominator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work out the conjugate for the denominator which is going to be 2 minus square root of 3. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the, the fraction with the con conjugate itself like this, where you have 4 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 minus square root of 3. Again, this, backs, this goes back to the concept that you know we're just multiplying by 1, therefore the number is still the same. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to work out the numerator first because in the numerator I have 4 multiplied by 2 minus square root of 3 and this would be 8 minus 4 square root of 3. So I've done my numerator. There it is. Now I need to work out my denominator. So with the denominator I have 2 plus square root of 3 multiplied by 2 minus square root of 3. And expanding this as a, as a quadratic, I would get 4 minus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 and minus 3. Because square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just simply 3, and positive and negative makes it negative. So simplifying this, I would get 1, because 4 minus 3 is 1, and their inside terms cancel out each other. So the denominator is 1, which means I have simplified this expression, which equals 8 minus 4 root 3. Okay, that's how I get rid of the denominator, um, the third in the denominator. Let's have a look at another example similar to this, but a little bit more trickier, but let's see how we go. So in this example, I want to simplify 2 plus square root of 2 divided by 1 minus square root of 3. Again. I want to rationalize this. If I want to rationalize this, I've got to multiply by its conjugate. And in this case, the conjugate of the denominator is going to be 1 plus square root of 3. So, multiplying the original fraction, which is 2 plus square root of 2, divided by 1 minus square root of 3, I've got to multiply this by 1 plus square root of 3, divided by 1 plus square root of 3. Because, once again, 1 plus square root of 3 divided by itself is 1. Now, just to make things easier, I'm going to work out the, like just, like, just as I did in the previous example, I'm going to work out the numerator first, That's where, where I have 2 plus square root of 2 multiplied by 1 plus square root of 3. Now, following the rules of a quadratic, I know that this would be 2 plus 2 root 3 plus root 2 and plus root 6 because 3 times 2 is 6. I can't really simplify this any further, so I'm going to leave it as it is in the numerator. There it is. And now I'm going to try and work out the denominator. 
Now with the denominator, I have 1 minus root 3. Sorry, I've just written the other way around. 1 plus root 3 times 1 minus root 3. And doing this as a quadratic, I would get 1 minus root 3 plus root 3. And it's going to be minus square root of 3 times square root of 3 would be 3. So this is minus 3. And simplifying this, I would get negative 2, which means my denominator is negative 2. Now, I could actually leave the answer as this because I have rationalized it. There is no thirds in the, de in the denominator. But I'm going to simplify it as negative 1 minus root 3 minus root 2 divided by 2 minus root 6 divided by 2. All right, guys, so just remember that, you know, when you want to rationalize with um, when you have a number and a third in the, de in the denominator, that you have to multiply by its conjugate. All right, uh, hope you guys got the idea of conjugate thirds here. That's about it for this session. Thank you for watching.